All right, this here's Brian. Uh, he's getting ready to do a brake change, a rotor and a pad change and stuff on a 2008 Ford Escape. Uh, we had to uh, make a tool to be able to take off the uh, caliber because it takes a 9mm Allen wrench and uh, to be able to take off the caliber. So uh, we had to take a 10mm. Uh, Brian, he uh, bought a 10mm uh, uh, Allen wrench up there at AutoZone and uh, we done some grinding on it. And uh, to be able to take off the caliber. All right, go ahead and proceed there, Brian. Okay. You might speak up because they're probably going to hear the fan stuff in the background there because we got the fan going because okay, it's now, hot. First thing I need to do is take the clip off, right? Uh, you already got the bolts out, right? Yes. All right. Uh, go ahead. Well, just go ahead and try to pry the uh, caliber and stuff back. See if you can pry the caliber off. Should be able to take uh, the caliber off. And uh, go ahead and just like pry right here or whatever. Okay. And uh, well, you got some tension stuff there. So uh, you've already pried the pads and stuff back. Make sure the pad and stuff still pried back to make sure the pressure stuff off the, uh, the caliber. All right, so pressure off the caliber now, where it's pushed back, where the piston's pushed back on the caliber? Yeah, it's pushing back. All right, go ahead and uh, see if we can go ahead and and uh, try to pry the caliber. It's, it's kind of a tricky situation trying to pry the caliber, plus the springs might go ahead and try to pop that spring right there. Uh, right here in this location right here. You might have to go ahead and try to pop that out on one side, whether it's the top, just don't want to, you don't want to spring it. Just to, just want to take and pop it out. And just don't 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 spring it. Just be real gentle with it and stuff. To kind of pop it out of its little socket right there. There you go. There she flew. All right, that's good. That's all right. She's out of the way. All right, go ahead and and take the caliber. Just go ahead and take your hand there and pull the caliber back. It should just, it, your bolts has probably got you right now. All right, go ahead and flip the caliber up. You can go ahead and take the pad, the back pad out of it. There you go. And uh, we've already got a wire. We just use speaker wire. And all we're going to do is just sit there and run it through, through the bolt hole on the uh, caliber. And uh, to be able to hang it up so that uh, the caliber is not hanging uh, by the hose. And, uh, or the brake line, actually be technical about it and uh, that way that uh, you don't have to worry about uh, damaging your uh, brake line because uh, you definitely don't ever want to take and hang your uh, caliber from the brake line so uh, just a little simple knot or whatever just keep it from kind of falling off you know and uh, keep it from uh... there you go see now it's hanging it's not hanging from the uh, brake line itself it's hanging from uh, a wire all right, now we need to go ahead and just go ahead and pop that front pad there out. Just take your screwdriver. There you go. This pops right out. All right, now we need to take these uh, these back two bolts. I'm going to go ahead and show you these uh, back two bolts here. You got, uh, that's a little close there. There's one bolt right there. That's the bottom one. And, uh, well. Well, that was the bottom one. Yep. Okay, and we got a little close here. And that right there is your top bolt. And there's your bottom bolt. All right. Those right there are 18 millimeter, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and take those out. Go ahead and use the impact, and you can use you can. That's fine. You can use a ratchet, but the impact right here, Brian. Oh, you got the impact. Yeah, the impact right here is probably a little easier. Uh, just go ahead and pop those bolts out. Uh, yeah, that right there. It's kind of a pain in the butt. You got to kind of push that button in in order to be able to get the uh, socket to lock on to uh, onto the uh, impact, and don't pull back out neither when you got it on there. <laughs> 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 yeah, push the button in. There, you, there you go. Push the button in, lock it in the hole. All right, make sure it's in reverse. Make sure it's taken off. Nice. All right, great deal. All right. Uh, Brian's over here. He's going to go ahead and take the uh, 
bolts out. Alright, there's one bolt. Alright. That's two bolts, that right there, that takes care of the uh, caliber bracket. Alright, now uh, some of you guys and stuff might think that this uh, floating rotor is just going to just kind of pop off, you know, magically by itself, but uh, that's not the case and stuff. This here's a 2008, and if you look closely and stuff around the hub, uh, you've got corrosion stuff, that's just from uh, road salt and water and you know, just, you know, time and stuff. So. Uh, now what Brad's getting ready to do here, you know, don't be afraid to do it. Uh, he's getting ready to smack his rotor, so don't be afraid to. There you go, see? Simple as that. He smacked, he smacked the rotor and stuff on both sides. And uh, now before we put the new rotor and stuff on, we're going to take some anises and uh, we're going to put it around the uh, hub right there. And... Uh, and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, put that around the hub so that way we don't have this problem in the, the future. That way we don't have to worry about, you know, it's seizing up on the, uh, on the uh, spindle right here. And he's putting something right now. I mean, like I said, it's just, you know, NICs and stuff. You can use, you know, nickel NICs. You can use copper NICs. You can use, you know, any type of NICs you want to. It doesn't matter. You know, it's just NICs. It's... You know, it speaks for itself, anti-seize. You know, it keeps it from seizing back up on there, so, you know. And uh, and then before, you know, we put the wheel back on, we'll go ahead and we'll dab a little bit on the studs, so that way that, you know, we got some anti-seize on the studs. And uh, you know, he's making sure he's got it all around there and stuff. That way when he puts the new rotor on there, you know, we're good to go. All right, great. All right, that's the man right there. All right, go ahead and grab your new rotor. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, stop this video right here, right now. And uh, we'll come back with uh, the rotor. And uh, then we'll show them that, uh, you know, where we clean the rotor and stuff off. We put everything back together. And, you know, and uh, make sure that everything's good. All right. Sound good to good you? Go. Let's go. All right, brother. All right, man. Here we go.